In this video I'm going to show you how you can find the inverse of a matrix using a Casio FX991 ES+. And for this example we're going to take this matrix here, which is what's known as an orthogonal matrix, so its inverse is its transpose. So we can immediately see that this calculator is in fact doing it right and this method works. So it's kind of validation. So you'll notice here if you take the transpose, so this row becomes a column, this row becomes that column, and this row becomes that column. So we can see this, um, take this matrix, find its transpose, and that should be the inverse because this matrix is orthogonal. So let's do this on the calculator. This is the answer we expect. So here's how you do it. You press mode, and then you put it into matrix mode, so that's pressing number six here. Then we want to edit matrix A, so press one, and we'll make it a three by three. This is a three by three. So let's enter this matrix here, zero, then we've got minus one, zero, zero, oh, sorry, one, zero, 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 one. You can use the keypad here and perhaps that's faster. Now we press AC to save. Once we've entered this matrix, the AC button will save it. That matrix is now in the memory stored as matrix A. We need to ex access matrix A, so we press shift, and four, so shift and then put it into matrix mode. That allows us to access all the matrix functions. You'll notice there's no inverse on this menu, which is somewhat annoying, but the inverse should be obvious. It's my power minus one. So if we press three, we get matrix A on here, so we can do operations on this as we would do with some algebra. Um, don't use this button. Don't try and put power minus one in like that. You have to use this button here. So press minus one as so, then press equals, and we get this. We've got the minus one there, we've got the one up there, and the one down there. So we know we've got the right answer because we know this matrix is orthogonal. So that's how you do the inverse on your FX991 ES+. Basically, quick review, uh, mode, put it into the correct mode, fill the matrix with what you need, then access the function with shift matrix and then use this button here to find the inverse. So hopefully this video is helpful to you and thank you for watching.